Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf, and welcome back into the tour van here at the Minnetonka store. And today we have a special guest. It is Isabella McCauley. She is on the University of Minnesota golf team. And today we have a fun comparison because it's a little bit of a discussion on, on fitting uh, and also, well, just how good Isabella can hit the ball off the tee and then uh, maybe why you should go get fit, why it's so important because just grabbing something off the rack is probably not the best move. So. Uh, today, Isabella, first of all, let's talk about your driver. So we're hitting a couple drivers today. Uh, let's talk about your driver, um, what you have in the bag, and I guess typically, you know, maybe the shot shape, uh, maybe the yardage that you get out of it. Let's talk about that first and kind of set the stage here. Yeah, so I actually play a TSI 3, so a Toddlest driver. Um, I am a natural draw hitter and kind of always just play a draw shot most of the time. If I have to hit a cut, I'll maybe hit it more straight. I can barely, I can't even really cut it well, but um, I'll probably carry it in like the 200 to 220 range, depending. It'll end up going like 230 to 250, mm -hmm. kind okay. of varying on how hard I hit it, right. the conditions, etc. cetera. So um, that's kind of the summary of my driver, but I think it'll be cool to do this comparison because they're both similar. I think they're both Titleist clubs. Yep. They're similar clubs, but just the main difference is our shaft and just kind of showing you how a shaft and like getting fit for a club that's just specifically designed for you is so important. Yeah, yeah. So the shaft in your TSI-3, uh, so first of all, the TSI-3 head is a little bit more of a compact, sort of a good play, like skilled players type driver head. Yeah. Um, it's going to be able to work that draw a little bit better. Um, and then also the shaft is a regular flex shaft. Yep. Um, so that's going to be a lot different than the other one I picked out, so I went out and grabbed the TSI-1 from just the rack over here in the store, and it's built with a women's shaft at 35 grams. And so, um, two very different drivers, both from the same TSI driver family, but two very different clubs. And so, um, what we're going to do is just have you hit a few drivers with your gamer here. Uh, we'll see what we get for numbers, and then we're going to throw the completely different driver in your hands and see what happens. Perfect. Yeah, that's a pretty darn good tee shot. It also fits exactly what you had mentioned about your numbers. My draw, yeah. my... Your ball flight and your trajectory and your draw. I've played a draw forever. And I've been working on finding a consistent draw in my game for a long time, and I, <laughs> I can't. I, you know what, I wish I had more of a cut sometimes, but... I could hit a massive slice. On command. I know I can <laughs> on do that. Cue. That's the only thing I can do on command, though. Yeah, that draw is pretty automatic. So would yeah. you, I gotta, I gotta ask, where would you rank for you in your game? Where would you rank driver in terms of, you know, how much you trust the club? You know, putter, short game, approach game, driver, where does it fit in for you? You know what? That's a really good question. I think the clubs I trust most are like 120, 130 down. Okay. Just like approaches around the greens. I'm pretty trusting on that. Yeah. Super comfortable in that yardage range. I would say though that maybe the next most comfortable um, short game and driver are like similar. I'm, yeah. I'm really like comfortable stepping up to a tee with a driver. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of a big aim small, miss small type person. So sure. I honestly visualize a very small target out there on the golf course. And so then even if I miss it, it's it's mm -hmm. better than it might be if I'm just like, okay, hit the fairway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the same exact ball flight every single time, so. And I think that shows that they have to zoom, they have to zoom in the dispersion so far to <laughs> give you a, a picture. Once we uh, hit the irons or hit the other driver, excuse me, um, we'll probably have a very different look. But I think that shows that like everyone can have a different natural shot. That was not the draw, but um, and whether it's a cut or a draw or whatever it is, as long as you have something that you know you right ninety five percent of the time you go back to, that's what you should trust, and yeah. that's the shot that you should hit. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get one more good one here. That one might have been left right. out a little bit. So those last two didn't quite turn over a no, ton. No, I didn't hit that one quite as well. But let's see, we'll bring up map 
And okay, so those two went off to the right. Yep. Um, but I gotta say the numbers are very, very consistent. And what I mean by that is if I expand these, you got six drives here. Your ball speed is yeah. basically just a hair over 130 every single time. Yep. That spin's hovering right around 2000 every time. Um, and then the carry number of distance, you actually picked up the last two quite a bit. I think just because it didn't turn over, that ball stayed in the air just a little bit longer mm -hmm. and gave you a little bit more distance on it. Yep. Uh, but you're still in that kind of, like you mentioned, that you know total range of about 230 to 250. Every single one falls right in there, carrying it up to 218 yards there. So this is sort of the baseline here and your smash factor very consistent as well, right at 145 there. So now we get to have some fun and we get to test out we'll the TSI the... one here. Let's do it. With a women's or ladies flex um, 35 gram shaft. Sorry. How does that feel, first Sorry. of all? You got it in your hand. How does it feel? So light. So light. My club is still a little bit lighter than normal. It's only about 50 grams, mm -hmm. but this is 35, I think you said. So, yeah, this will be definitely a change. Oh, boy. I could just see the the flex of the shaft at the top of your swing. Like it's just like, bending? Is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not better than I thought it would be. Yeah. But... <laughs> I would anticipate if that's with as flexible as that shaft is, your draw is going to draw a lot more. Even more, typically. yeah. It's also going to be a lot higher. That makes sense, too. Yo. A lot higher launching shaft. Not as good of smash factor. Right. Oh, so, boy. <laughs> you know, the reason we wanted to do this is because um, I feel like there's a one. lot of, you know, a lot of female women golfers that will come into the store and a there's just a lot of those female golfers that come in and they go right away to the women's section of where the clubs are, right? And they look only there. But, you know, they might have a swing speed similar to yours, right? Swinging the driver at 90 miles an hour. And that's probably at that point where you actually would shift into a quote-unquote men's golf shaft. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's just the beauty of getting fit is that Everyone is different. I mean, there could be men needing women's yep. women's shafts and women needing men's shafts. It's just very dependent mm -hmm. on the person. But right, I think this definitely shows that. Yeah, <laughs> that's important. That's a good one right there. That might be the straightest one. better. So you're noticing though, high. that ball is going way higher way with higher. more spin, and because of that, your spin. distance is is falling down, right? Yep. Um, so let's kind of, let's, let's take a look here. We'll get the numbers here. Um, you swung the TSI one a little faster, which is not surprising to me because we actually only have five versus six, but we'll, we, a we'll count it. A lot straighter with my uh, club for sure. Yes, yes. So all these things kind of line up, right? Because with a more flexible and lighter shaft, um, your, sh your ball should go higher, and it did by about almost 20 feet and it was a lot more spinny, right? Yep. So you actually lost 10 yards, over 10 yards, with your with the TSI-1. Yep. Um, I mean, and as you mentioned, we can bring up the map here too. You got three of them that are, you know, out of play, not out of play, but off the fairway. Yep. And, you know, you had two in the fairway here. So talk to me about, you know, you're hitting it shorter and also with a wider dispersion. So typically those things are, not good. Yeah, exactly. I think the numbers fit up very well to a shaft that's lighter and whippier. Um, not as straight, not as far. Even though my club at speed was more because it's lighter, I'm able to swing it faster. It's just not going to generate the most perfect maximum distance for me. Um, just mm -hmm. because of how whippy it is. As you can tell, even though I missed a couple with my actual driver to the right, yeah. most of the ones that I felt like I hit pretty well were, were straight. So kind of the things are lining up and it just even though it's, you know, it's only a 10 yard difference. I think that everyone yeah. wants, you know, as everyone's talking about what's, how can I get that extra 10 yards? Who knows? You might be hitting the wrong shaft. Right. Yeah. It's, it's as simple as that. And 10 yards can be a big deal, right? Yeah. I mean, that goes, that's could be going from hitting, you know, nine iron instead and going to pitching wedge, right? Yep. Or, you know, 
Um, or perhaps maybe it's, there's a, a you know, you got to carry a certain number to carry this bunker or carry this uh, spot in the fairway. Um, and that could be the difference there for sure. Uh, and then I did want to just again ask you on the field. Did you, did it feel like you had less control over the club head during your swing? I have to imagine. Yeah, of course. I th okay, so the club heads were very were similar. I right. could, I could tell they're both like Titleist clubs, but the shaft was very different, it, very whippy. I felt mm -hmm. like I had less control in just terms of an accuracy standpoint, keeping it in the fairway. Less control, a little bit more whippy, so I'm not really sure where it's going to go. Yeah, I wonder, like, I mean, I again, I'll bring this up because I, I feel like it's a common thing, but... Would you agree maybe that there's a lot of female players out there that should probably just be, should be playing quote unquote men's shafts, right? Or like a regular flex shaft. I mean, I, I think it's so common that we see a female player go right to the women's section and grab a club like that one, mm -hmm. when really they might hit it and they might hit a couple of their, their drives well, but they could be getting the performance that you're seeing, right? They could be getting 10, 15 more yards just by playing something that might be a regular flex. Yeah, absolutely. I think I see a lot of both ways. I see a lot of women that should be playing men's shafts, playing women's shafts and vice yeah. versa. So yeah. kind of just making sure that you're in the right area. Um, if you know your club head speed's less than 90, you might be, you, you know, you can get a women's shaft most likely and a little bit more, it's probably going to be regular flex, but um, always getting fit is a good idea just to let the experts know what they're doing and maybe tweak things that you can't see. But yeah, it just, it's definitely, I think this was a good comparison in showing kind of exactly how, mm -hmm. how different a couple of shafts can be. Right. I mean, to kind of finally wrap this up, we've got, you, you swung your driver actually two miles an hour slower, Yep. but because it was more efficient, fit yep. your swing better, had a better, you know, spin rate, things like that. Um, you actually still hit the ball over 10 yards further with it and yep. also more accurately. So um, that kind of wraps it up and that's the, sum that's the summary. So um, Isabella, thank you for joining for that kind of fun demonstration. Um, I, my recommendation is that you stick with the TSI3 that's currently <laughs> in your bag, so. I will, thank you. That was super fun.